Meghan Markle gets a kiss from her prince as loved up pair get cozy in VIP box at Invito's Games closing ceremony. Prince Harry was pictured kissing and tenderly embracing his girlfriend Meghan Markle at the closing ceremony of his Invito's Games Saturday night, but hid her in a darkened VIP box. The 36-year-old actress arrived with her best friend, Canadian stylist Jessica Mulroney, wearing a white coat over a black outfit and the two women took their places in the discreet box to the side of the stage. Meghan's closest male friend, Marcus Anderson, who introduced her to Harry last year, was by her side. Miss Markle, who was wearing a $68 pair of Everlane jeans, the $178 Badgley Mishka jacket and Jimmy Choo shoes, was also accompanied by her mother, Doria Radland, a therapist and yoga teacher from L.A. The fact that her mother had flown in from the U.S. to spend time with her daughter and Harry emphasizes the seriousness of the romance. Doria could be seen dancing enthusiastically as one of the closing ceremonies headline acts, Bruce Springsteen played his hit Dancing in the Dark. He was followed by Canadian rocker Brian Adams who thrashed out some of his biggest sellers including Summer of 69. Harry could be seen kissing his girlfriend on the cheek before leaving her in their box to go down to the stage and give his closing speech. The prince started off by thanking the people of Toronto for their incredible hospitality and singled out British Triple M Purity Mark Ormrod for his spirit and bravery in competing for the first time. He described the injured servicemen and women who had competed in the Invitos Games as role models for children to look up to. Harry received a standing ovation as he looked at the competitors and praised their determination, saying that many would be at the summit of a mountain many of you thought too hard to climb. Harry urged the audience to take home to Spirit of Invitos and make a change, big or small, in their own lives. As he spoke, Meghan and her mother could be seen clapping enthusiastically as they stood together in their box. It is the third time that Miss Markle, 36, start of legal drama suits, has appeared in public at the same time as her boyfriend in the last week, despite trying to keep their romance under wraps for the last 14 months. She slipped into the opening ceremony of the Games last Saturday with her close friend, Marcus Anderson, although the pair sat 18 seats apart from the Queen's grandson. But on Monday they turned up together to a wheelchair tennis match in full view of the general public and photographers and seemed apparently unconcerned about the attention. Tonight, however, she seemed to be playing a cat and mouse game with photographers. It came just hours after Prince Harry was hugged by a little boy on behalf of his father as he took part in an impromptu photo call with the families of Invito's Games competitors. Micah Papio, 6 ran over to the Royal at the end of the event in Nathan Phillips Square in Toronto and clung to his knees on Saturday. Micah's father, Emil K. Papio, has been competing in the cycling events as part of the Canadian team. The soldier, who spent 22 years in the Army, suffers from PTSD and other injuries. Asked why he hugged the Prince, Micah said, I like him and wanted to say thanks for everything he has done for my dad. I felt very proud watching him. His mother, Baggy Papio, who was there with her other son, Antonio, 7, and Mother Degra, said, At times we all need a goal and I am very sporty, so when Emil has struggled I have been there to push him. Mrs. Papio, from Trenton, added, The atmosphere here has been unbelievable. What it has meant in terms of the recovery of the competitors is incalculable. Harry should be very proud. It has been wonderful for the children to see the competitors. It made Maid seeing these kind of injuries very normalizing, which is great. Her mother Degra, added, I am lost in admiration for Harry and William and Kate. What Harry has done with Invitos and what they have all done for the issue of mental health has been amazing. PTSD is the injury that you can't see, and can be equally damaging. What they have done for mental health issues should be applauded. Earlier on Saturday. Former U.S. Vice President Joe Biden and his wife Dr. Jill Biden joined Prince Harry to celebrate the end of his third annual Invitos Games. The 33-year-old royal, who founded the competition in 2014 for injured servicemen and women, sat with the Biddens to watch the wheelchair basketball final on Saturday at Matinee Athletics Center in Toronto, Canada. The three seemed to be enjoying themselves as they smiled, clapped and cheered in the stands watching the U.S. They play Denmark. Upon the U.S. winning the gold medal, Joe Biden was selected to present the honor, placing the medal around the neck of Anthony McDaniel and then giving him a congratulatory hug. It was the second time the Bidens made an appearance at the Invitos Games, 
swinging by on Friday with former U.S. President Barack Obama for another round of wheelchair basketball. Earlier Prince Harry vowed to continue the inspirational in those games, saying, The sky's the limit. The royal was once again without his girlfriend, Meghan Markle as he watched the wheelchair basketball finals. Shortly before going in to watch the play, the prince spoke to Dome, the host broadcaster for the games, alongside Team Canada competitor Mike Trommer. Asked about how long he thought the competition he founded would continue for, he said, Look, I think I've said many, many times before that Invitos has got a shelf life because as other people have said the conveyor belt of wounded coming back from what has ceased to eight. Certain the certain extent especially for these 70 nations. But for us at the Invitos Foundation it happens every year, you think we've made the decision and then you come to the games and boom. And it's like, you know what we have a social responsibility to continue this for long as it's needed. Which is what I've always said. We'll have to wait and see. The world needs Invitos. These guys need Invitos. I need Invitos. We all need our fix. We all need to be inspired. We all need to be encouraged and reminded of what duty and service is all about. It would be silly of us to close it out. The Royal said that he envisaged the shape and form of the game changing somewhat. This year 550 competitors from 17 countries have taken part in 12 different adaptive sports ranging from swimming to indoor rowing, but insisted that the future looks bright. He says, it really does look very very exciting. We're not talking about two and a half, three thousand competitors. It will be a gradual increase if we can. But at the same time it's impossible to say no and it's impossible to try and wrap something up that's having a massive impact on changing lives. Vice Captain of the UK team, Dr. Jen Warren, told Mail Online of the impact the games had had on her life. Mother of one and working anesthetist Dr. Warren lost the use of her legs in a skiing accident but has competed in sports as diverse as swimming, athletics and cycling. She said, calling this a Paralympic event is just scratching the surface. There is so much more to this than that. The way this builds people is phenomenal. My pregnancy wiped six years of rehab off me because of the toll it took. My injuries were in my pelvis and the pressure of the pregnancy affected me. That's why it is so important that Invitos helps everyone, not only the recently injured. Even those who have been injured a while ago can get lumps and bumps along the road. Words cannot begin to describe what this has done for me as a person. I was the one who was frightened of their shadow. Last year I was frightened of everything. Look at me now. She added, I work very hard, in my day job. I am an anesthetist and there aren't many of us who are wheelchair users. I had had to fight so hard to get back to work. It took everything from me. I didn't leave much time for anything else. I didn't help that I thought I was a shadow of my former myself. Everyone frowns at you. They think you are a lost patient like you don't deserve to be there. I know that is partly my interpretation of how they see me but inside it is just so hard. The mental barriers of going back to work were far harder than the physical barriers to go back to work. As women we don't give ourselves enough credit. Earlier in the week Dr. Warren, who was a major in the Royal Army Medical Corps, spoke to Harry after she had the disappointment of narrowly missing out on a gold medal in her first cycling event. The prince gave her a pet talk, however, and she went on to win gold in the same sport the next day. Dr. Warren said, I was sat out the back as I'm not the kind of person to put myself forward but our physio called him over and asked him to come to speak to me. We just had a little chat, talking about the Invitos games as a whole and what it means to different people. I told him about my story and we chatted about the challenges of running the games, particularly finding the balance between people winning medals and what it means to their recovery which is what is the real medal of the games. Harry has proved himself in the military. He has done two tours of Afghanistan and there are not many royals that can say that. What's more he has proved himself once again. Harry is my hero. The amount of work he puts into these events. He talks to the competitors. He talks to the crowd. He doesn't shut himself off or put himself on show. He is working 24 7 He works his socks off. He doesn't just come in, say hello and then wave. I was in the military. I respect the royal family. I respect what they represent. But this goes far beyond that. He can do nothing wrong in my eyes. 
I was just blown away by how he uses all of his strength and all of his toolkit to give back to the community. Dr. Warren stressed that the legacy of the games was more far-reaching than anyone could imagine in bringing nations, cultures and people with so much still to offer together. She said, it's great to see here that the end of those games teams from all over the world. In a war situation we might be fighting each other but this is a community without borders and having a great relationship. We are competing against each other but the camaraderie is amazing and that trickles down from Harry. He makes such an effort to talk to everybody. He goes out of his way to make sure there is no one left untouched.